my name is Michelle Colley and this is my video for assignment number 3, PIDP 3230, the informal assessment. I've chosen to focus on the game of Jeopardy as a tool for review. Uh, I use it in my classroom and my students love it. Uh, I also have had it used on me uh, in a course that I took and I found it a great way to relax and uh, review the material before an exam. So let's take a look. The Game of Jeopardy was created in 1964 by a gentleman named Merv Griffin and it's been showing on TV ever since which means it's likely that your students, especially in North America, have come across this at some point in their lives. In the traditional version of this game there are six categories and five clues under each category worth increasing dollar value and the increasing dollar value also indicates a tougher question to answer. Um, Contestants will see the clue and it will be in the form of the answer to the question and they're intended to give their response in the form of a question. So this is my Jeopardy PowerPoint. And the first thing I do is divide the teams or divide the class into two teams. And then we look at the game board. So we've got five categories and five levels of points for each category. I use points instead of dollars. And if you click on any of these buttons, it takes you to the clue. And students get about 30 seconds to answer the clue. If they don't answer, then it goes to the other team. And then when whoever does answer, uh, if they get it right, I can press this button. Okay. Or give them the near miss and then we can go back home. I keep track of the points on the board. I haven't yet figured out how to incorporate it into my game, though I know you can. And once you've selected a button, it the color changes so that you know if you've taken it out of the game. Hello again. Uh, so the context for this game is best in a classroom or a group setting. And it's best used as a review tool for context, the content that you've already introduced. Now, the limitations of this game, you have to have a computer and a projector in the classroom so the whole class can see. It favors students who are quick thinkers and outgoing, so you have to make sure that all students get a chance to answer questions. And you can't use it too often or the novelty will wear off. And advantages. It's a great tool for gauging understanding of the content. And you can give feedback as questions are answered to correct misunderstandings on the spot. Uh, you can build community in your classroom in a really fun setting and ease anxiety over your testing. Best practices with the Jeopardy game. Edit the clues really carefully to format, uh, to remove formatting mistakes such as clues leading to incorrect answers. Don't allow the same students to answer all of the questions, like I said before. And organize the clues to make higher point buttons more difficult to answer so that the students are rewarded with more points for harder answers. Feedback for this uh, strategy is best given as the questions are answered, but you can wait and just take note of questions that students consistently got wrong in order to better inform your teaching practices in terms of more review or next time you teach the class, introduce it in a different way that maybe they'll get a little better. And have the students answer the questions they missed again later in the game as a bonus to see if they were listening when you corrected them. Thanks for watching my video. I hope it inspires you to try a Jeopardy review tool in your class. And a special thank you to Dennis Buderak, a former PIDP 3230 student, whose video I watched to find out that this actually existed and that I wanted to try it for myself. Thank you.